The Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources plan to convert a historic war production plant into a public space is hitting some road bumps. News 3's Jetta Middot is here to explain. Well, Keeley, the DNR has been working on turning an old ammunition plant into the Sauk Prairie Recreation Area. But until the DNR's plan is approved, nothing more can be done to the area. It's a great place to get away in an open space, away from traffic noise, away from, you know, the, the commotion of the city. But it can be hard to tell the area that was once the Badger Army ammunition plant is open. Most people don't realize that the, the state property is public land and it is currently open to the public. But there are some concerns with the current state of the area. It's not easy to find the state property. Uh, you have to follow a series of plastic cones that lead you through a, somewhat of a, uh, a maze of, of roadways, and it's real easy to get lost out here. The roads are in poor shape. There's no signage. There's no restroom facilities. There are no picnic tables. There are no formal trails. These are all things that are planned in their master plan. The DNR has a draft master plan the public was able to give input on, but... A lot of people basically said this is a really good plan with a few exceptions. Exceptions that include motorcycles, rocketry, and snowmobiles. And the National Park Service agrees with the public's concern with those activities. In a 10-page letter the Park Service wrote to the DNR, it addressed several issues it had with the master plan. The letter stated, we continue to be concerned about the level of opposition to some of the forms of the recreation proposed, specifically dual-purpose motorcycles, rocketry, and to a lesser degree snowmobiles and dog training. The DNR responded saying it has long held that it is acceptable to include activities at properties even if they may displace other visitors. And therein lies the conflict. So before the DNR's plans can move forward to improve the area, it will have to make some changes. In the DNR's letter, it says it will continue to review the draft plan in hopes to present it to the Wisconsin Natural Resources Board in the next few months. All right, it'll be interesting to see what happens with all of this.